There's about to be a penumbral lunar eclipse. On November 30, 2020 at 9.42 Universal Time, 4.42 Eastern Daylight Saving Time and 1.42 Pacific Daylight Saving Time, a full, beaver moon, will move into Earth's shadow in space. Don't expect fireworks. Or a, blood moon. Or anything particularly interesting, in fact, save for a strange-looking drop in the moon's brightness as 83% of our satellite moves into shadow. So why get excited about this, beaver moon eclipse? A lunar eclipse never comes alone. A solar eclipse always occurs about two weeks before or after a lunar eclipse. A solar eclipse happens when the moon's shadow falls on the Earth, while a lunar eclipse happens when the Earth's shadow falls on the moon. The, beaver moon eclipse, will this year cause a solar eclipse, and it will be the best kind, a total solar eclipse. From a, path of totality, through Chile and Argentina on December 14, 2020, observers will experience 2 minutes 9 seconds of a sudden, dramatic twilight in the day. But why will that happen because of the, beaver moon? What's the unusual thing happening that's causing a lunar eclipse and then a solar eclipse? Why doesn't an eclipse occur every month? Here's everything you need to know about the grand celestial mechanics at work that causes eclipses to be occasional, dramatic events, but always come in groups of two or three. Eclipses occur when the Sun, the Moon and the Earth are aligned. During a lunar eclipse the Earth is between the Sun and a full Moon, and the Moon moves into Earth's shadow in space. Everyone on the night side of Earth sees the Moon dip in brightness, as with this weekend's penumbral lunar eclipse, or turn partially or totally red, a total lunar eclipse. The latter is caused by the same physics as causes a sunset, the only light that reaches the Moon's surface is first filtered by Earth's atmosphere, which scatters blue light. During a solar eclipse a new Moon moves between the Sun and the Earth, sending a narrow shadow flashing across Earth's surface. For anyone in the, path of totality, there's a total eclipse of the Sun during which observers can remove their solar eclipses glasses and stare at the Sun's bright, white outer atmosphere called its corona. There's a total solar eclipse on December 14, 2020 in South America, another on December 4, 2021 in Antarctica, and after a quiet 2020, another in Western Australia on April 20, 2023. Eclipses of the Sun only happen because the Moon is just the right distance from Earth to sometimes cover 100% of the Sun by lucky chance the Moon is roughly 400 times smaller than the Sun, but 400 times closer to Earth. That's why the Sun and the Moon look the same size in our sky. It's not quite a perfect matchup, however. The Moon actually orbits Earth in an ellipse, so each month it reaches a point that's farthest from Earth apogee, and a point when it's closest to Earth perigee.